you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video, guys. And today, we got new flashback cards. About to head in. Hopefully, they updated it because you know EA always just seems to be behind for some reason this first month. I don't know why. But I'm hoping they dropped on time because if not, it'll throw me off really bad. But they're looking okay, the new cards. Not entirely sure what all of them are. I just know what one of them is. But you guys will see that right when we get into this. Now, I'm going to tell you guys my overall opinion on flashbacks. Rate them compared to the other ones. And then explain to you why I'm not always all in on them. But guys, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash the sub button. It means a lot. If you guys have been enjoying the content, smash it. Show me, show me your support. Also, turn on the Noti bell to get notified every time we post a brand new video, boys. We're about 1.4k Noti gang. Let's keep grinding that up. Guys, comment down below your overall opinion on flashbacks and what you think of these cards. I don't know if I'm all in on these cards just, just yet, exactly. Maybe if they drop some more fire ones, but like at the moment, not exactly in on them just yet. And if you guys are new, you guys are old, you guys are loyal, drop a like. Let's get this video to 150 likes. It is a content video, I understand. That's not exactly a staple just yet on my channel. But we're working for it. So let's get into ultimate team. I start logging in. Let's see what they refresh. Uh, it should just be the typical store flashback card. You know what I'm talking about? The store flashback set. Or should I say uh, training, whatever. It's hard to I don't know what to call it. But guys, it's right here. 1,780 for a flashback player. Is that worth it? I do not think so. I did it once. Luckily, I pulled Andrew Luck. And I even pulled, I pulled the best flashback card. And I still lost training on that. So my personal opinion, is it worth it? Not exactly. Would I open them? No. Would I buy them? Maybe. But guys, flashbacks so far have been kind of fraudulent. The stats haven't been too good. The set, the you know, the, the I don't want to call this the pack, the exchange, the training exchange. It's really not that good in my opinion. Like I said, I pulled the best one. I still lost. Here, I pulled the best heavyweight. I still lost coins. I pulled both so that day. So like, I really don't understand what the thinking was on the training values of those because they they sky they go so low in price and they're not exactly worth it. But let's go check out these cards. So let's go over to flashbacks. Let's see. Let's go to new. See what we got. So I believe there's a Derek Henry today. There should be a Derek Henry. And I don't know if it was Gerald Bacoy. I feel like that's what I heard. It's going over. Let's refresh a little bit because I know they're not always right out right away out. But guys, in my personal opinion, what I recommend pulling for flashbacks, never. Like I said, I pulled Andrew Locke. He was the best one. His stats are decent at best and he wasn't even worth it because right now a 101k is like exactly what his training value is so like if you sell him for that you're kind of losing i pretty uh 87 sell for about their training value so you'd have to actually pull the best thing in the pack the only way this would be worth it they stop they start dropping like 89s and, and 90s flashbacks so then if they start dropping those then obviously it'll be more worth it because you can get more than you make it can almost be a reroll set but at the moment it is not Still refreshing, you're looking for it, but obviously they're not here. Let's go over to sets real quick. Someone's got to be pulling them pretty soon, obviously. Let's go over to sets, see if I see anything there. I don't think there's anything for flashbacks, though, there, right? Yeah, I always like to check here, but I forget flashbacks and heavyweights. Not a thing you can see here. They show them in missions, but for some reason, they don't have them over there. They have flashbacks, turn back the clock, pick up a flashback player from the store. I don't even know why that's there, to be honest with you. Doesn't really make sense. Let's keep checking the block, waiting for these new flashbacks. From what I saw from Derrick Henry's stats, they're not exactly too hot. So I don't exactly know if I'll be picking that guy. I'll probably not. Mark Allen's the GOAT. And if it's Gerald McCoy, he might be actually useful if there is a McCoy. But I'm done. not exactly sure if I'm exactly accurate on that. I'm not seeing anything right now. All right, boys. So first thing, we're going to recap it on Twitter until they start coming out in this. I'm still refreshing the auction block because I don't want to make you guys just stare at the auction block until it comes out. So here you see it is Derrick Henry as Mutt Leaks tweeted out. Derrick Henry, number 22. 2018 week 14 if I recall correctly it's probably the game where he had like 200 yards I'd imagine it was last year and I remember having a crazy game towards the end of the year then Gerald McCoy 2013 week 11 could I tell you what he did probably not 2013 was a while ago and he's defensive tackle so I probably don't really remember too well what he did still on the block of course we do have stats for Derrick Henry which I can show you for now Derrick Henry right here 86 overall he's six foot three he is a monster like when you have him on this field he looks like a monster I'm not gonna lie but he has an 84 speed, so he's on the slower side. 83 Excel. Okay, so like speed-wise, like if he's a really powerful back, you can deal with it, right? But then he has a 79 agility, that's bad. 92 carrying is actually really good. 55 catching, horrible. 70 elusiveness, horrible. 70 elusive, yeah, elusiveness, horrible. 82 trucking and 79 break tackle. 
is that not the most ridiculous thing you ever heard? A monster running back who's known for being a beast, a powerful back, not the fastest, but he's a beast. They give him a lower truck than speed in a year where speed's a premium right now. So speed's not even high to begin with. He has a 79 break tackle, 79. His literally his whole basis is that he's supposed to be, a, and I'm pretty sure that means he can get evasive if you power him up properly. So this just doesn't add up to me. He's a power back that has bad power. This doesn't make sense. I mean, not exactly a fan of this card. I can't imagine myself using it. Like I said, again, these flashbacks are just underwhelming. And by the way, guys, quick little tip of advice here. At the moment, flashbacks are going down in price a lot because everyone's pulling for them right now, seeing if they can get these new ones and they're not up yet. So if you guys want to buy flashbacks, that might be the time, in my personal opinion, because it's looking it's looking pretty clear that people are pulling for them. I don't even know if they're in game yet, but people are definitely pulling for them. All right, boys, so we're on over to Mudhead now. They are here, so I can show you guys the full stats. Derek Henry, because they're not out in the game for some reason yet, which is kind of annoying, but, you know, we got to work with what we're given. So, Derek Henry, no car out, of course. So, like I said, low speed, low trucking, bad strength, bad jumping, bad truck, bad juke. Good stiff arm. So, pretty much his saving grace is a stiff arm and a carry, but I'd much rather have a lot of the running backs than just that. Now, he does have fight for extra yards, high motor, which is good. Covers ball. Pretty much about it, though. Receiving stats are horrible. I can't imagine this card being that useful at all, to be honest with you guys. Maybe Gerald McCoy. Gerald McCoy, sorry if I'm saying that weird. Maybe he'll be a little more useful. Of course he's not there now. I like how he was just there. Let's type him in real quick. Gerald McCoy. He literally was just right there. So, okay, so Gerald McCoy, Mr. No Card Art again. Let's see what he's going for. Six foot four, 300 pounds. So he's kind of, he's a monster too. 64 speed. A little slow, but he is a defensive tackle, so I can't fault him for that just yet. 78 Excel, not horrible actually. A good Excel for him. 86 strength, a little low on strength. 86 play rec, not bad. 80 block shed, 78 pursuit, 87 tackle, 80 hit power. 78 power, his stats are underwhelming too, and he's gonna go for like 130K. It is crazy. I cannot believe this. And see his quick sell training value? You guys see that right there? Quick sell training value? He literally goes for the price of almost a pack. So even if you pull the best possible new card, you pretty much break even. And if you pull anything other than that, you lose. This flashback promo is just like, it's kind of mind boggling if you really think about it. I cannot believe that defensive tackle, which should be one of the best ones because he is a new flashback defensive tackle, has decent play rec, bad block shedding, bad pursuit, decent hit power, and bad power to finesse move. I understand that he's just a run stuffer, but to be a run stuffer, his block shedding strength should have been a little higher. And maybe his play rec, and then I don't care if he doesn't have decent pass, if he doesn't have good pass rush. I mean, maybe if you power him up, he does have high, he does have high motor, defensive um, line swim move. That's his, that's his spin move. Swim move, defensive line bull rush, and strips ball. So that's pretty good. Discipline isn't bad either. But again, I mean, if you powered him up, I mean, it'd be simple. You use the power pass, you get his power up. He wouldn't be the worst card. You could probably sell his power for a decent amount of coins right now, depending on if people deem this card as useful. I wonder what he did in week 11. I wish he would have told us right here. Still, re still refreshing the auction block, see if we can find anything on him. Guys, flashbacks are going down heavy right now. If you ever wanted a flashback, now would be the time. They're getting posted a lot. I'd recommend you guys go check that out. Like, I don't even know what to compare him to. Like, let's compare him to my Michael Pierce. See, if we compare him to Pierce, I have him powered up too. If you compare him to Pierce, Pierce has, let's see, same speed just about, similar excel. So, so far, athletically, they're the same. Then you come down to their block shedding. Pierce actually beats him in block shed, and he comes close in play rec, and this is unpowered up. My powered up Pierce is almost the same exact thing, and he cost me damn near nothing because I powered him up with my... 84 to 85 it's unreal and that new flashback is gonna cost a ton more it isn't even the same card i can't really justify having these cards on your team that's my point let's come back on over come back on over to this i can't justify them he's still not there but guys as a as my personal opinion and consensus on flashbacks are their ass they're not usable cards they're overpriced they're underwhelming i'll never understand that why flashbacks is really like just slow cards slow cards not that good underwhelming they're always like this too i mean sometimes there's some bangers right sometimes there's bangers there's like a deshaun jackson against the giants flashback a michael maybe there's a michael vick flashback that'd be kind of cool which I, they won't do because he'll put you as a legend but sometimes there's some cool flashbacks obviously i don't even know why i thought of vick i just imagined him on the falcons for some reason and there's been some cool ones but the consensus that there there should be at least one cool one per week there's not even one cool one per week there's not one card in this whole list that i think i'd want to have on my team obviously there isn't because i don't have one on my team Whatever, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some knowledge out of this, some 
You guys enjoyed the smack talk on flashbacks. I think this is a horrible promo so far. Obviously, they're probably starting slow. But every year, I feel like it's every year flashbacks are underwhelming. Like, at this point in the year last year, we had a flashback Landon Collins that was usable. I don't remember much else. I just remember that Landon Collins. But there's usually some useful cards in this. And there just so far is not. Flashbacks should be taking an older guy in the game that doesn't have a good card and giving him a solid card. Like a guy like Endama Kung Su, flashback, 89 overall. A guy that's a bit older, a little past his prime, but he used to be really good so you can remember like the good old days, you know? That's, that's what flashback should be like. Flashback Sean Lee when he was at his prime and he wasn't hurt. Flashback Eli Manning when he was when he won the Super Bowl. There should be plenty of good flashback cards in this game that they're just not doing. Like, these cards are cool, but then their stats aren't good. Guys, that is whatever. You know, I'm going to stop complaining about this. I said what I had to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Smash the like button. Let's get this video to 150 likes. Be greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below and hit the sub bell. Hit the, the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video that's time sensitive, just like this, right when it comes out. Also, smash the sub button. Let's get this grind to 10k. Let's get it, let's get it going still. We have solid momentum right now. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for all the recent support and allowing me to be a content creator and do what I do every day that I find fun. Greatly appreciate that, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate all the support. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.